Soundbite will be 500 Ghost Winter Cherries in there, bro. My Electro Might, when they come back, will never be cherried. We got the Grudge Match, baby. I got called out. I got called out. Someone had the nerve called the Pen God. Do you know what this man said to me? This man took my pendulum deck. And literally, I'm not joking. He took my pen deck and threw it in the garbage like that. He did. Look, it's not personal. I'm just saying I have 400 cherries and I need to unload them. And I thought this is an easy way. And uh, I want a pendulum deck, so. So, our grudge match will be my pendulum deck and his 400 winter cherries. And we are going to duel winner takes all. And what I'm going to do, because my winter cherry, guys, Electro is coming back next format, right? Yeah, it's a perfect cherry. So player. if I buy, if I if I win these 400 cherries from him, I'll rip them up like Haiba did, and they will never be used against me. So the grudge match, Pendulum versus Winter Cherries, winner takes all. Are you ready? Of course. Do you think you could beat the Pen God? You have to hit the toughest guy in the room first. That's how you make the platform. That's how you conquer it. You know what? I love the mentality. Can we put up your shades as well? Winner also gets your shades. Oh, and your hat? I mean, sure. Yeah. Okay, it is time! The epic showdown. All those winter cherries are about to be mine. This grudge match is very simple. I am putting up my entire pendulum deck. Pink slips for cars, baby. My entire pendulum deck for it. Of all of those ghost winter cherries. I am going to get these winter cherries and rip up every single one of them so they are never used against me shout out seto kaiba so here we are facing off against scare claws and i'm telling you guys this scare claw deck is scary why because that new any deck with a powerful link one is instantly on the spot a contender of a good deck powerful link ones have been a problem since the beginning of powerful link ones and on top of that the field spell the the plus one this is a bunch of plus ones in this deck all the other cards are super ass that's for sure all the other cards in the scare claw deck are ass but when you're playing beside a beyond the pendulum truff gaming playmat it's they're all beautiful they're all beautiful oh yeah so here i'm going to use the effect of swap the beautiful thing about it, swap enchantress is that you're able to get a free extender and still send your Ron and Toad. I do not know what his cards do. So I'm just reading a little bit here. I'm like, hmm, okay, this does that, that does that. I have no clue. I do not know what these cards do. In fact, after I witnessed my man's here play, who you guys, by the way, you must stop what you're doing right now and subscribe to my boy, okay? This is Ghost Reaper Winter Cherries guy, the, the Cherries God. His, he is starting a brand new YouTube channel in honor of these ghost cherries. So you guys must smash the subscribe button right now. Not just for my channel, but for his. In fact, go down in the description. It'll be the first link up there and the top description. Go subscribe to my homie. Let's get him to like 300 subs ASAP. And then after that, we should buy Beyond the Pendulum Playman. So over here, I just do some cool shenanigans. I'm thinking in my head, I think I have game, okay? I don't know what the seal spell does, by the way. I do not actually have game, by the way, Copium. But I think I have game here. I'm just doing some math. I'm like, this will be game with like Gusto Phoenix and Pixies. I do literally just do not know what this field spell does. I'm an idiot. I didn't get rid of the, I should have got rid of the uh, monster. I could have OTK him easily. But that's the beauty of playing against rogue decks. No one knows what these rogue decks do. I don't fucking know what these scare claw cards do. I have to read every single one of them. And then after I read them once, I had to read them another four times. Because I still didn't know what they did. I still didn't know what they did. Big mistake. You must know what they did. I ended up uh, using droplets on his link. But it was a little late. I uh, was doing some math here. I'm like, I think this is game. I think this is game. This is my proxy of the Gusto Phoenix. This very tasteful pink card. Uh, right there. Very tasteful. Oh, yeah. Very tasteful. Uh, I thought that this was a game, but I didn't know the field spot had an effect that boosts the monsters, so that costed me. Uh, I think I was off a, a thousand or two thousand or something. If I just read the field spell, I had game. Big mistake uh, by Triff Gaming's end, but you know what? It's all good. You wanna know why it's all good? It's just, it's just scare cop. Bro, scare cop can't OTK. I, I got totally awesome, baby. I got totally awesome. We're good. We're good in the hood. But wanna know what's not good? He made this guy, he made this Link 3 guy without activating a single card. He did this without activating a single card. 
So I'm like, dude, what's going on? I don't know what these cards. Am I getting like, are you like, what, so what? All my cards go on defense, but Gusia, okay, that's cool and all. I don't really care. Like, what's this really do? Like, I'm just trying to win the Ghost Winter Cherries right now. And Scareclaws are a scary deck. They are actually a very scary deck. So in this near you, I started reading a little bit. I'm like, wait a second. I'm getting OTK. I'm about to get fucking OTK. I'm, are you kidding? I reading is difficult. I read some more of these cards, and what his card does is he now does double piercing damage on all my monsters, and he attacks like three times or something. Is this an ultimate conducted Tyrano? We just got clapped. We're literally about to get clapped up right now. It's a Scareclaw. If I lose my Pendulum deck to Scareclaw, I will never play Pendulums again. I am I'm sick. I, I am sick to my stomach. I just dropped the game to Scareclaws with the best deck in the universe, Adventure Sprite, because I can't read the field spell. I'm fucking... I'm ass. That That is... That is unacceptable, boys. That, that is that is unacceptable by the scriptures written by Yugi Moto. Completely and utterly, totally unacceptable. But that's all right. You guys want to know why it's all right? Because a real champion knows very simply what I'm about to say. If you lose game one, now that just means that you get to win game two and game three. You get to reverse sweep, reverse 2-0. This has great value for the pen god. So I'm like, you know what? I just lost a Scareclaw. All my friends watching this duel right now that were roasting me earlier for my short shorts, I don't know if I added that clip on here, but my, all my boys, all my homies were roasting me for wearing short shorts. Dude, short shorts are cool, all right? Chicks dig short shorts. And the only thing that's about to be short here is my opponent's chance of winning. Because first I got roasted for short shorts, now I get roasted for losing to Scareclaw, but there's no way we can lose game two and three. It's impossible. So I set up the whole beautiful board here where we have a uh, double interruption set and we have a griffin. I'm playing around Dark Ruler. And what do you have? Dark Ruler. That's why you need to play Gale Dogra. By playing the Gale Dogra, you simply ensure that you do not hard lose to Dark Ruler no more, which is in every single player's side deck this format because it's a great call this format, a great meta call this format to play Dark Ruler. So you need to prepare yourself for this exact specific purpose. Now, I time my Shadal Shizm in a specific moment where I know I can get value from Shizm sending a card. And I don't really fear what he's bringing out with Scareclaw. I don't know what Scareclaws do. I'm not scared of this deck. What the heck is this deck? So I'm not, I don't fear this in the slightest. Uh, he's left in a moment now where he just can't win. He, he can't win. And then at the end of this, I sank them as well, just for shits and gigs. Just for shits and gigs. Nice extra deck. Nice extra deck. You got Sanctum and Shizm. This is why Dark Ruler doesn't do jack shit. The, you, you just save the Griffin, you get the value of Griffin and Elf, and then after they commit to the board, you shizm them, and then what are they gonna do? Dark Ruler, your window after you got rid of a Dark Monster. Chain Super Poly, great play over here by my opponent because this will give him the possibility to out my window. But at the end of the day, it's gonna do anything for him because the power of Artifact Sanctum is far greater than the par power of uh, whatever the heck Scareclaw cards names are but my man's here the winter cherries god is about to partake in a game number three he could oh, what a fresh trade did you guys see my fade over there and yeah before, before anyone asks yeah i do shade i do trim my arms i do trim my arms yes there's this i'm a very hairy european man uh so yes so if you guys are wondering i, I did shave my arms or was i the only one wondering this i know there's some weirdo in the chat saying trips Last time I saw your hair, your arms, you were very hairy. Well, there it is, boys. There it is. There, the, the news is out. Trip Gaming shaves his arms. Pen best deck. So here I'm going to be utilizing the greatest Beyond the Pendulum playmat on the planet. And I you know I look at my I look at my hand and I know that the end is nigh for my opponent. My man's whale played absolutely fantastic. He brought the Pendulum God, the Adventure Sprite Legend. He brought the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh player on the planet to game to game three with Scare Claws. And that, at this point, is when I recognize that this deck has potential. Scareclaw has potential, and we will be showcasing a deck profile on his deck in the future. Look at this. He has a nice setup and all, but what's I going to do to write a Baramie Seer? I actually have Red Reboot in my hand right now, but I decide that my the rest of my five cards in my hand are so broken that I don't even want to use a Red Reboot unless it's something crazy. Like, if he drops a Floodgate or something, I'll use Red Reboot for that. He activates this card, which makes his card uh, 
unaffected by, by effects, uh, just by that one effect. So that's fine. I'm just going to out it later. Uh, he goes, goes Winter Cherries. Ah, he goes with the Winter Cherries. God, Winter Cherries, my Sprite out. Literally Copium. If I was playing pure Sprite right now, I lose the duel on the spot. This is why you guys need to buy all my Winter Cherries for $5 each. All 500 of them. Because if I was playing pure Sprite like every other moron in the universe, then I was getting absolutely cooked by that one simple card. But simply due to the fact that I have a brain, I, I, I'm i not going to because now I have other links to play with that are not Sprite Elf. I don't need Sprite Elf because I play Charmers. I play Selene Access Code. I play Digusto Phoenix. And I'm still going to go for game here. So here, I'm going to put these into Selene. I'm going to put these into Access Code Talker. I'm going to pop the board. I'm going to go Starter into Pixies, into Ron and Toad, into Digusto Phoenix for game. GG. Winter Cherries are mine. Amazing match. Subscribe to my boy. I'm 500 Winter Cherries Richard, baby. Let's go.